and load data into target database. So the question comes, uh, why do we require this uh, extraction for our data from one source and then loading into another uh, database or target database? So there are two scenarios where we use the ATL tool. One scenario is when we are migrating the data from one database system to another database system. So it is like uh, if a client has uh, data in their old system, suppose they are using uh, mainframe systems or they are using Google data or they are using some, still they are using a Fox based DBS. So very old database systems are there. Now they are uh, moving to the new database system like Oracle, Teradata, DB2 or whatever. So in that case they require, they need to migrate the data. So whatever their OLTP system data is available, they don't want to change a lot of things at that, or they don't want to go for redevelopment of their OLTP database. Simply they want to migrate the data so that whatever applications are running right now, they keep on running. And in gradual process, over the period of time, they keep changing their uh, applications, OLTP applications, and also their OLTP data structures. But immediate requirement might be like, let me move to the uh, my existing uh, property databases to some register database system. So simply they migrate. So when we say migration of data, it is like a very few changes will be there from the existing database to the new database. So extract will be there, loading will be there, but transformations will be very limited. So this is the one requirement which is a data migration. And data migration doesn't mean only from uh, old proprietary database system to the new database system like relational. Sometimes it is required like uh, they are working on the same database system which is a relational, but they are working with the older version and they want to migrate to the new version of the database. So in that case also they require data migration, but here maybe that uh, transformation requirement might be minimal or there will be no transformation. So that will be very easy. So some of the client they use the ETL tool or some of the client they say that when my transformation is not there, why should I go for the ETL tool, purchase this tool and pay a lot of money. Let us use a database server provided a specific uh, tool which is used for data migration and complete that. But the real requirement of ETL tool comes when you go to the data browsing solution. So data browsing solution basically is uh, like we keep data from the source system which is the OLTP system but we transform the data in such way that this data warehouse should be able to support or will be able to support our decision making requirements. So it is like uh, my management says that I want to analyze the data for last 10 years, 15 years in a different pattern. So sometimes they want to analyze a weekly, daily, monthly, quarterly, half yearly. They want to compare the data their own organization data with other organizations data which are available on the public domain or within the public domain. So all these things they require. So they basically they want to go for data analysis, which is nothing but comparing the data over the period of time or comparing the data with uh, their computers and other uh, service providers in the same uh, products or domain. So for that what we require is uh, a new data structure which is a different from OLTP data sources because OLTP databases are defined for online transactions means whatever day-to-day -day activities are happening capture those details keep them in database so that in future whenever there is any disputes or doubts or any problem with the transactions which are done in the past we should be able to solve those problems or we should be able to clarify the doubts of the customers based on the details kept in the database. So in OLTP database, we keep the data at the retail level, which is good for verification purpose, validation purpose of solving the problems. But management says that I have to do the planning for future, for next five years, 10 years, or maybe more. And for this planning, I cannot depend only on the OLTP database, which provides me just six months, one year, or two year data. I may require data from the past 10 years, past 20 years or more, so that I can uh, find out some pattern in the past, means how the business is going, what type of uh, customers are dealing with my products, or what type of products uh, changes are happening every year or every second year, how the customer uh, changes are, means taste is changing over the period of time. So all these things they want to analyze. 
and they say that OLTP database which is uh, with the organization does not provide enough data or enough information and also they do not provide uh, in such way that can be used for analysis purpose very easily. So for that purpose uh, we came out with uh, people came out with a new concept they say let us go for data warehouse. So data warehouse is nothing but uh, extracting the data from the source system transforming them as per the requirement of uh, analysis or decision making so that uh, whatever tools we use for analysis purpose and decision making purpose they should not uh, waste a lot of time for extracting the data transforming the data so it is a concept here is our funda here is let this tool connect to the database get the data in a format which is uh, very easily available for the analysis are very easy, very easy to uh, analyze the patterns, analyze the past performance, or analyze the different the data in different way so that we can justify the requirement of the decision makers or the people who are involved in the analysis of the system, in the business system. So ETL tool basically became popular or came into existence in more aggressive way because of the data browsing and the PI users. So to understand this ideal tool, we need to understand what is the business intelligence and how the business intelligence uh, encapsulates uh, so many different technologies within itself. So the next PPT is uh, basically for that purpose. So this is a very typical business intelligence solution architecture. So when we say PI, PI stands for business intelligence. And this business intelligence itself is not a tool, means BI is not a tool. BI basically is an umbrella concept which includes uh, many different technologies like a database technology, ETL, OLAP, all these are combined together as a BI. So purpose of this BI is to provide the intelligence system to the management or the decision maker who can analyze their past data to find out some hidden patterns, to find out some uh, uh, like uh, different type of uh, hidden uh, is data which is not available easily from OLTP system. So main purpose of BI is basically to mine the data or extract the data or information from the data which is available with the organization for the last past 10, 15, 20 years. And based on that, once they get the pattern from the past, suppose if their pattern is like in the last 10 years, my company is uh, doing the business and progressing by 10% every year, so on average. So maybe this uh, management says that, okay, without much effort, if you are growing 10% every year in the last 10 years, so why not we make it 15% uh, with some strategic or decision making, some new planning, some new uh, implementation of the products or maybe customer orientation. So now this business are not very really satisfied with uh, what they are doing and what they have done in the past. They say that, okay, whatever we are doing and whatever we have done in the past is good. But why we should uh, just grow in the same pattern? Why not we change the pattern and grow much better or much faster? So that is the basically target of uh, PI uh, solutions or PI implementation. So to achieve this uh, business intelligence, we require like uh, at least three technology we require. One is a database technology because it involves your OLDP database system and warehouse database system. Second we require is the ETL technology which says that okay, I will provide the transformation between your OLDP database and warehouse database by extracting them, transforming them and loading into target which is warehouse. And third technology which is required is uh, we refer as a BI reporting tool or BI analytical tool. So these reporting or analytical tool basically is yeah, Chandu, like there are uh, four or five tools out there which are means at the same level, so their market share is like 2-3 percent here and there. So one of them is like uh, from SAP we have a business object, then from IBM we have a Cognos, from Oracle Corporation we have OBI, double E, Enterprise Edition. So these three are the, and then from Microsoft we have a MSBI. MSBI basically is the uh, in integration of the ETL plus OLAP tools. So these are the four big corporates which are providing the BI tools. 
Apart from that, there is a new breed of uh, vehicles which are becoming popular with uh, the small and medium sized corporates and they are open source like we have a uh, you can say like Jasper Soft is there so this provides and we have uh, like uh, Clickview is there another so these are the tools which are coming with uh, solution like Clickview advantages it says in memory means uh, what it says the uh, entire database they load in the memory so your reporting analysis becomes very fast but when you said like what are the most popular so you can say like business object cognos then Oracle OBI and uh, this Microsoft BI. So as we know that Microsoft uh, BI mostly they are more popular with the window platform because it is window based. The micro strategy is there, it is there but compared to these uh, like Cognos and business object, micro strategy market share is not as high as this. So that is why these uh, four five tools are there. So their market share if you see it is not very different. Like if you take the example of uh, Oracle OBI, when it comes to the Middle East countries, Oracle is very aggressive in their marketing. So mostly what they do is uh, they provide OBI to their clients in Middle East, mostly free of class. They say that if you take my Oracle server, you get this uh, OBI to free. Just you need to pay for the support. That's all. So when you are working with the Middle East client, you'll find that most of them are using OBI. But when you go to this uh, US or Europe, you find that there is a like uh, choice different Cognos, business object, micro strategy, or MSBA. So mostly the people who are working on the reporting tool, for them it is not very easy to just stick to one uh, BI tool. So these people basically they keep on switching from one BI tool to another BI tool. Because once you know the one BI tool, then switching over to another BI tool is not a very big deal. It's just a matter of week or two. So does it uh, answer your uh, doubts, Chandra? Okay. So I was talking about this, uh, this, what is this business intelligence? So BI basically is an umbrella term which includes these three basic technologies, database, ETL and OLAP. So if you see in this diagram, so we are trying to capture like uh, at the extreme left side we have OLTP databases which is the major source for your uh, business intelligence. So it is like uh, our primary purpose is to load data from OLDB database system to warehouse database. But the problem is uh, nowadays uh, when we are talking about the big corporates or very large uh, organizations or entrepreneurs, they have a diversified data system, they were database systems. So like some of the data is available in articles, some of the data they are available at departmental level within their small database system like uh, MS Access, uh, or they use uh, Excel sheet, text file, XML file, all those things are basically data sources. So when we are going to extract data from this OLTP system, it is not only one system or one database which provides the entire data. Many systems are there and because of uh, internet and web uh, popularity and social site, uh, the way they have captured the market, most of the companies are basically trying to extract data from different social sites to get the current pattern or current trends about their market, their product. So because of this, uh, data extraction has become very complex process now because we need to extract from many sources and all these sources are not available at the same point of time. They are available at different point of time. So what happens instead of loading the data into data warehouse directly after transformation. Now approach is that between OLTP system and data warehouse database, you need to introduce some staging databases or staging layer to extract the data from different sources, keep them in the staging without any transformation or with very minor transformation. And once all the data has arrived in the staging, then this will become a single source of uh, data for your data browse and data mouse. So if you see this uh, ETL is required at different level. Between OLTP and staging, you need one ETL. Between the staging to your data browse, you need another ETL. And after data browse, you are building the data mouse. So you again you require between warehouse and data mouse, you need a ETL. And once the data comes to your data warehouse and data mars, then you use the OLAP tool or BI reporting tool or analysis tool to perform the pattern analysis or trend analysis. So this is very typical. It is like I'm showing only one staging layer, but there might be multiple staging layer depending upon how the data are spread across the globe. So this uh, like in this people we discuss about yeah. 
so basically this PPT we discuss about uh, not about what is a business intelligence like definitions are. So uh, what is data more you see that you uh, from the ETL you we, we extract we make the staging area yeah. and then staging we make a dimension table and then um, fact tables and yes. from there we create the data model. So, so what is the correlation between you know the, the data warehouse and data models? See, generally data warehouse and data mod both are data warehouse. Only the difference is the scope of data. So at the data warehouse level, we keep the data at the organization level or corporate level, which is used by the top management. Basically, top management they analyze the data at the organization level or uh, enterprise level. But when it comes to departmental level analysis, uh, division level analysis, then they require data at different level of summary. It is like department level. Suppose we are talking about sales division, sales department, marketing department. So those kind of data we keep in the data mass. So the scope of the data is the difference between data browse and data mass. So in every organization we have uh, different level of analyst like top management they do analysis then middle management and lower management so data browse is designed for the top management and data mark is designed basically for the middle and lower management to require the data summarization at the lower level like they say team wise I need the data department wise I need the data division wise I need the data but when it comes with company wise or group of company wise data integration or summarization that is a data warehouse level. So, so it means that the MAR, yeah. the MAR has also dimensional factors. Yeah, exactly. 